Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video of our FPS game in Unity series, we're going to start thinking about what kind of a map or a scene we have to create. If you remember the first video I talked about sections and the first section was the player and obviously we've done uh, most of it. Now there's a few things left, there's the, the, the stats and the UI but of course I'm gonna make that later when I'll be making the weapons. And now really what I want to start is the second section of this series and it's the scene or the map you're going to be playing on. When we're creating a map, first we always have to know what uh, we're making. So I created a small checklist. It's going to help us see what we want to make. There's a few points I want to get across and the first one is uh, the size of your map. Now there's obviously like a big, a medium and a small map. I suggest you go for a small map if you're making this for the first time and take this maybe as a uh, practice round of this and then you can uh, create a bigger one or maybe again create a smaller one but better. I'm gonna go for a small map here but of course you can go with uh, any other size. Then I like to think of the theme. Now mostly this is going to be a theme of your game. So you want to make the theme of the game and theme of the map uh, to be the same. And there's quite a few themes. You can go for maybe a fantasy with like magic or, and, and stuff. You can go for a modern theme. You can go for a medieval theme, um, a Wild West theme, sci-fi, any historic um, area that you can think of. Maybe like World World War One or World World War Two. You just have to be create creative with this. I'm not going to be creative here. I'm just gonna go for a modern theme. Next, I like to think about the environment. This is very important, um, there's few of our environments, maybe you can go for like a forest or a desert or like a snowy area, you can go for a city like an urban map. I'm gonna go with the urban forest map, now yes you can combine these these uh, environments, so you can make it like um, maybe have the city on one side of the map and then have the forest on the other side of the map or have them um, cross somehow. As I said, I'm going to go with the urban forest kind of style. I'm going to show you what I mean later. But once you have these three things, you can write them down somewhere on a paper on, or uh, on a text document. I suggest paper, but you know, it's your choice. Once you have that written down, um, I first like to have uh, a map layout. So I like to go into any photo editing program. So like Photoshop or... Uh, or uh, or GIMP or Blender. Yes, you can do it in Blender. It's kind of weird, but you can. Uh, maybe Krita. I'm going to be using Krita. Now, obviously, you want to go with a program you like or you're familiar with, but the the principle I'm going to show you here it should be really similar, similar in all of these softwares. So I'm going to create a new document, and this one is going to be 1024 by 1024 that's because I'm making a square map you can of course make this uh, you can of course make your map have different dimensions I'm gonna go with the perfect square here once I created of course I want to have some kind of a background now since I said I'm making a urban map I'm gonna go and just paint everything uh, in a gray color since that's kind of the concrete color I guess now I thought about it and I want to have some kind of buildings on the sides so the player can't leave the area. This is very simple uh, thing to block out the player from leaving the map. So what I like to do is I like to select the black car color and then maybe bring the size, size down and select the rectangle tool like this so you can draw with it and then create some uh, recta rectangles for buildings right here. And this doesn't have to be perfect at all, you just need uh, a layout as I said. So just going on the edge and making some uh, buildings right here. Of course you can change it, this doesn't have to be a building, you can have a road or uh, something else that uh, doesn't let the player leave. Now just to add some variety, I'm gonna leave this area blank so I can maybe have a road come out from here and then block off the road with like uh, vehicles or uh, some kind of a fence just to keep things interesting. Now in the middle here I want to have some kind of a park that's why I said I'm gonna combine combine the themes or environment with urban and forest so I'm gonna have the urban part around the map or the 
on the edge of the map and then I'm in the middle I'm gonna have a park which is kind of a forest theme so I'll just go and um, this is only rough estimation and now I can just uh, maybe have that painted green or something else so I can see that that's a park now I selected only this part with uh, the magic magic selection tool or I don't know what you call it um, and then I just selected this square and painted in there what I also like to do is select the buildings and then just paint them a bit of a different color so I'm just doing this I'm just going shift and left clicking on the areas I want to select and of course the areas I want to select are the buildings or where build buildings are supposed to be once I have them selected I'll create a new layer under it and then I'm just going to take the brush um, select this color right here with the color picker and then make it a bit darker and then brush over it and it's go only going to paint on the selected area and it should do this in every uh, software as I said and I missed an area here so I'm just gonna paint it and now deselect, deselect and we have our area right here now in the middle of the park I want to have some kind of a fountain so I'm just going to get the circle tool and then just create a circle in the middle make it black and make it a bit thicker this seems fine and same as uh, before I want to make sure I know this is a fountain so I'm just going to select it select a bluish color and then just uh, paint over it now I want to create the road here I can do that very simply I'll just get the line tool or whatever you have and make the size a bit smaller something about this size is good make that white and what I like to do is just create some lines so it kinda looks like a road now again this doesn't have to be perfect this is just the layout of the map that we're gonna have um, I'll have it pass around here so this is the road we're gonna have maybe I can have like a sidewalk uh, along the buildings but um, that'd be kinda hard to draw since the the buildings are a bit weird right now and then in the park I also want to have uh, a few details I'll just go and color pick this green color and then pick a bit uh, darker and now I can start drawing on the park and now I can have uh, like uh, maybe four paths in the park each one leading to the center to the fountain and then um, maybe have like a gray color right here those will be the stones in the park and uh, then maybe have a brown color for like the benches I guess you can add whatever you want this is just so I know what I'm doing those are the benches and these gray things are the stones and of course you can add like a bunch of detail here like trees and bushes and stuff like that like forest themed assets and then on the road I'm gonna of course add some vehicles some fences some blocks maybe or something but this is the basic layout of our map and I like to do this just so I know what I'm making so I know what kind of assets I'm gonna make now about the assets you can create your own or you can find some on the asset store or anywhere you like maybe you have a friend that that makes assets so you can ask him to help you you really don't need a lot maybe have like uh, five different buildings to place them around here and then have a few bushes have a fountain asset, have a few stones, like three or four stones, and then uh, have a bench asset, and then some trees, and of course vehicles, and that should be it. But of course I like to add some like boxes, and um, maybe some lamps. You can find inspiration just by going to Google and maybe typing in like, uh, like park, and then searching that. And then go to images, and you can see like a bunch of things, maybe have like a kids playground in the park that'd be quite nice maybe have like a cafe in the park and then have some tables and chairs maybe also you can have a small 
a lake or a river in the park, doesn't have to be a fountain. If you're going for like a nature theme or a forest theme, you can add waterfalls, you can add mountains, you can add anything you want. But as I said, I'm going to make um, a urban park style map. You can go with your own. It should be like the same principle when we'll be making the map. But in the next few episodes, I'm going to show you how to create some of the assets. But this is it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this helped you a bit uh, to realize how to create a map or at least start to. And if you like this, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and of course you can go follow me on Patreon or any other social media. There's links to that in the description. Bye-bye.